Hi friends! While I am behind the scenes getting everything ready for your viewing pleasure of the project tonight, here are some things that you can do. Number one, as soon as you come in, please say hashtag live or hashtag replay depending on what you are viewing. Next, I would love it if you would put a one down below if you are brand new to learning all about Chalk Couture or you may have heard about Chalk Couture but you're not currently working with the designer because guess what? I want to be your designer. Next, if you are already an amazing Chalk Couture designer, please pop a two down below and be sure to throw me some hearts. I would love it if you would go ahead and share this video if you are catching me on Facebook and you are not a Chalk Couture designer. If you're on your mobile device, it's going to be the bottom left-hand side of your video. If you're catching me on YouTube, right underneath the live video to the left of the live chat is going to be that share button. Once again, if you are not a Chalk Couture designer, I would love it if you would share my video. Also, while you guys are on my social medias, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube, which is right next to that share button. And I I would also love it if you turn the bell on. When Facebook gets all wonky, I can always broadcast live from YouTube. But if you're on YouTube, I want you to follow me there as well. If you're on a laptop or a desktop, it's going to be right underneath the title of the video. Um, be sure to hit subscribe or follow and then go ahead and hit that bell to be notified whenever I go live. Next, I would love to talk to you all about Club Couture. If you're not aware of Club Couture, boy, are you in for a treat. It is the hottest club in town. Stick around to see the fun facts all about Club Couture. Next, if at any time you would love to hear all about the Chalk Couture opportunity, the opportunity to purchase a business in a box and to go ahead and launch your own empire, please comment join down below because I would love to uh, uh, invite you into our opportunity group where you can hear all about the designer opportunity and you will have all the information at your fingertips to go ahead and make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team because I really would love to have you. Hey, hey, you guys, how are you? Happy Thursday. It is a rainy, nasty, cold day here in New Jersey. Um, so let's craft. So... Um, let's talk all things Club Couture first. Club Couture is the hottest DIY home subscription service out there, bringing DIY creativity to your door every single month. It's only $19.99 plus tax in the U.S. and $26.99 plus tax in Canada. And this package will ship free to you every month. What will ship free to you, you may ask? Well, you will get an exclusive size B transfer that only Club Couture customers and designers can get, along with three coordinating chalk paste singles. But that's not all. You will also get exclusive VIP group access into my private Club Couture group when you join Club Couture under me. Every month I go in there, I make three additional projects without fail to give you the most bang for your buck with that transfer. You will also get bonus flat rate shipping. Now, all of my customers currently receive flat rate shipping of $6.95 in the U.S. and $13.95 in Canada on your entire order. But as one of my Club Couture customers, you're going to get bonus flat rate shipping of only $4.95 in the U.S. and only $9.95 in Canada. And that's on the entire order. And finally, you will get access to exclusive specials and deals directly from Chalk Couture. Now, um, this month's special is pretty awesome. And there is only, what, two or three days left? Um, the special is when you go into my online store, when you are logged into your Club Couture account, you will be able to get a discount. Once you spend $50 US or $70 Canadian prior to um, tax and shipping, you'll instantly get $5 off US or $7 Canadian. It's pretty great, you guys. And I just want to tell you, Club Couture is the the only thing you can do where you can buy now, pay later. What this means is this is November's Club Couture season's greetings. It's perfect and it applies to everyone. Um, you can go into my online store right now and sign up to be a Club Couture customer and you will not pay for this Club Couture transfer until November the 5th. Now, if you would like to do this, all you need to do is go into the description of this video on either YouTube or Facebook and there is all the details along with the link to sign up. Okay, now let's talk about my next favorite thing, and that is the ability to invest in yourself and purchase your business in a box, launch your empire, and join my award-winning team. This is our new designer kit, aka Business in a Box. I call it a Business in a Box because every single thing 
um, or as soon as you receive this box with everything that's in it, you can go ahead and launch your business, okay? The investment is only $99 plus tax and shipping in the US and $135 plus tax and shipping in Canada. Now, this box is gonna arrive to you with a value of $250 US, $330 Canadian, and it's gonna include five three-ounce chalk paste, a small squeegee, an apron, a 12-pack of thank you cards, a 12-pack of chocolate chips, a board and base, a 9 by 12 porcelain steel Ada magnetic chalkboard, the Read Me, our gorgeous autumn winter catalog, six silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers, along with the awesome Club Couture transfer. Now, I realize I may have given out a whole lot of info and you're like, Jess, I still got questions, girl. No worries, I have your answers. In the description of the video on YouTube and Facebook, there is the link to my opportunity group. All you need to do is click that link. Um, once you once I approve uh, you into that group, I will tag you in a video that goes over every single detail you need to know in order to make an educated decision about not just joining Chalk Couture, but joining my team, you guys. I want you to be happy with the decision that you make. Now, here's a little something up on the screen while I go ahead and get my camera angles all ready. Um, for all of my brand new friends. Um, hi, Anita. Hey, Charlie Bear 43. How are you? Hi, Lisa Batten. Hi, Carol. Thank you for sprinkling, Lisa. I'm going to write you down right now. Hi, Mary Ager. Hi, Mary Carol. You can't wait to... I, oh, I'm telling you, it is awesome. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Sean Marie. That transfer came free with my order last week. Yes, Sean Marie, because as a designer, you will get that when you place an order after the 15th of the month. Any order that you place, they're going to go ahead and ship it. If you don't place an order in that month, then it will come. Um, it will ship at the beginning of the month like it normally does. Um, let's see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um uh, let's see. Hold on. I just lost all the comments. There it goes. There it goes. I got it back. Hi. All right, Lisa, I am putting you down for sprinkling. Thank you so, so much. Hi, Melinda. How are you? Get you in my sprinkle bag, which is back here. Okay, you guys. So today we're going to be making a fun. Oh, Carol, thank you for sprinkling. Let me get you in there. Carol Huff. I will get you into my sprinkle bag. Hi, Debbie Green. Have you any idea when the Holiday Duo transfer will be back? Let me check, Mary. I can look right now. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. Uh, I can tell you. The Holiday Duo transfer. I feel like that's next week, but I could be wrong. Let me double check. I will tell you guys, I don't know if you saw my notification. Shimmer Harvest finally comes back today. I'm so excited. Uh, holiday Patterns Duo is November 9th through the 13th. Yay! Woohoo! Okay. Um, thank you for sprinkling, Debbie Green. Yes, it is such a rainy Thursday. Um, poor Brand had to use his lunch hour to come home and change because he was soaking wet. Um, yep, Chill Marie is under me. I don't know why I was thinking, Chill Marie, that you were under Sarah yesterday. I don't know why I was thinking that. Um, I don't know. Sometimes that happens to me. Okay, you guys. So we are going to be using this gorgeous transfer today, the Ornate Noel, but we're not going to use it the way that it's pictured. We're going to be a little creative with it and we're going to make some blocks. Now I just got to go in. I've had these blocks for forever. They are literally excess pieces of, I think they're called, um, two by fours, but it's not two by four. They measure three and a half by four and a half. So I don't know what they are. Uh, I don't know. They were left over from when we had our kitchen done. I asked my contractor to just give me all of the small pieces because, you know, um, just doesn't cut with a saw. So there's that. Now, all those pieces look good. Hot damn. Right, Sean Marie, because you were a designer. You cannot share my videos, but thank you. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate you sprinkling. Hi, Dana Graham. Um, let's do Mary Egger. Get you into my sprinkle bag. Doot, 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 doot. Boop. Ah, oh, thank you for sprinkling, Dana. Let's get you guys in here. Yeah, I said, um, I got dinner in the crock pot. Um, I'm thinking because thanks to 
the way of the world. We're supposed to be doing retreat in a box tonight, but it looks as though some of the people have not received their retreat in a box. So I'm probably going to have to reschedule it to Sunday, um, Sunday afternoon, which actually may work out better, but, um, that was supposed to be my night tonight. So I had, uh, gotten, oh wait, let's not use this yet. Let's paint first. I had gotten, um, everything in the crock pots so that way I was ready and the boys would be able to eat. So there's that. Oh, hello, Roxanne. Thank you for sprinkling, girl. Where's the pen? There it is. Okay. Yeah, it is just so nasty today. So, so nasty. Oh, I'm so glad I just tw tested this first. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be using a chalk paint today. Only because I am running... I don't like that I don't have very much of my sea paints left. Um, so I'm just using chalk paint just because. Um, no other reason other than that. I just don't have a lot of sea paint. Otherwise, I would have used that. But I've got white paint and white paint um, will be exactly what we need for right now. So I'm just going to give these a quick coat of some white chalk paint. Um we are going to be doing um, such a cute project today. I think it's going to be adorable. And I made a project with my team today, and I think it turned out so cute. I was considering making it this week's bundle, but I am still waiting for one more piece of the bundle from last week to come so I can get last week's bundle sent out. I don't like to do a bundle until I have a prior bundle all finished. Um, so there's that. That's why I do that. That's why sometimes they don't start on a Monday. I like to make sure that everything is sent out and all is good with the world. Um, hi, Sherry Prince in Canada. How are you doing, girl? Hi, Carol's in Iowa. We have a turkey in the oven. Nice. I know, Carol, California. So, oh, poor California. California always has fires, right? Gosh, it's not bad enough that they have uh, earthquakes. But then they have fires. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. And I'll do the bottoms last for all of them so that way they can dry first and then I'm not, you know, really messing up my um, mat. And I'm not doing a really great job coating this because I want them to look a little distressed. And you know we're going to distress them up once we are all done with it, right? You guys know how I do. Whew. Totally forgot to do the back of this guy. So what's everybody, how's everybody's day going? What's your weather like where you're at? I know that there's some, the wildfires in California. What's it like where you guys are? Like I said, it is cold and rainy here today. Um, oh, Debbie Green, wait, I want to see. Um, wait, I missed, I missed something. My daughter's breathing on her own, talking about removing the vent completely. Oh, Debbie Green, thank God for prayers answered, right? Such great news. Hi, Janessa Ellen, YouTube, how are you doing? Hello, hello. West Virginia, I'll see you tomorrow soon. <laughs> um... Carolyn, yes, you definitely have a fellow Canadian here. Kim Jensen, hello. Hi, Heather James. I am making Noel blocks. 
I am making some blocks that will spell out Noel with our ornate Noel. Ugh, cold and rainy, sunny, windy, and cool in Illinois. Um, three degrees and rain on and off, snow all gone now. Yay. Awesome, Sean Marie. That is awesome news. Bad storm this morning and no snow, so it's a good bed in Canada. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, wait. Now it's sunny and warm. Turned out beautiful, Dana said. I mixed up two things. Windy, but sun is out and no snow, so it's a good day in Canada. Yes. Cold and dreary, Chrissy says. Ugh, I agree. But you know what? It's making me feel more like it's fall, so that's pretty good because I am... I just want to get out of 2020, so anything that makes it feel closer to Christmas... I am all about it. You guys, I'll be playing Christmas music in my office here today. I'm so excited. My craft room. I got lots to do. Um, like I said, hopefully that last package will get here um, for the bundles. I had to find more arms for the snowmen, believe it or not. And that's what I'm waiting on to come. It's supposed to be here today. But I've had things that were supposed to come like all throughout the week that something was supposed to come on Monday and didn't come until um, today. And you, the thing that came today, you guys are going to want to be in my VIP group because you're just going to want to be. Okay, here we go, last one, and then we're going to go ahead and start to get them dry, and we'll do the bottoms, and then it's time to make our words. Cannot wait. I wanted to use this transfer for a while, and I just did not get a chance to get to it. And you know what? For the project tomorrow... I'm probably going to whip out Christmas sentiments again because there's another project that I thought of that I wanted to do. I'm just oh, hopeful that it's going to fit. That's all I'm going to say. But sometimes, you guys know how I am, sometimes things will hit me at a different time. I think this is going to look super pretty. I really do. Almost done. Try not to do a whole hoop of paint because it's ending up more on my hands than anywhere else. That is sort of my luck. Gotta love my fingerprints all over everything. That's always so good. Okay, so I'm going to put this down for just a sec. Yuck. Where's my wipes? They're back here. Let's get my hands cleaned a little bit here, you guys. Oh, I love Christmas too, Dana. Oh my gosh. No snow, so that's good, Kim Jensen says. No snow in my part of Canada yet, thank goodness, Carolyn says. 46 and rainy here in Ohio. Roxanne, we have the same weather. I'm ready for Christmas, Dana. More than you know, girl. I started decorating the tree. LOL, skip Halloween. S shipping is so slow. Oh, I know. I know. And I was reading an article that it's only going to get worse from what USPS, UPS, and FedEx are saying. Christmas can't come soon enough. Neither can 2021. I'm beyond done with 2020. Amen, sister. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's get this drying. Oh, gosh. Please don't knock that over. Knock it over, Jess. Oh, I'm ready for snow too, Debbie Green. But I am and I'm not. You want to know why? Because Big Brand's going to have to work in it because he works for the township. So it's like, oh, we can't relax together and enjoy the snow. So it's like, bummer. These are like pretty much already dry. That's awesome.
Hold on. Yikes. Apparently, I had a gigantic glob of paint there. What are you reminding me of? Oh, got to do that yet. I'm obsessed. I had to run uptown. So I have you through the truck speakers. Oh, Sean Marie, you're so funny. He works for an electric company. So he's, yes, I get it, Debbie Green. And I'm sure he really does because it's always that way, right? When the snow comes, oh, it's the worst. It's the worst for them. Anybody that's got to work in it, I always feel so bad for Only if it was super, super bad did my old bank close down when I worked in retail banking. So nine times out of ten, even I had to go in, um, which stunk. But what are you going to do? Hi, April Wolves. Not ready for snow yet? Oh, I know, Carolyn. I know. It's the story of my life, girl. If I don't have reminders go off, I don't do them. I just don't. Oh, wow, I really did a crap job of painting the side of this. Clearly, I was ready to be done painting it. <laughs> All right, let's get, the, oh, I'm making my mat bubble up. Let's get this paint off real quick before it sets on too long. That's the only thing. This is why I love my sea paints because it's water based, so it comes off nice and easy. Chalk paint, not so much. Uh, okay. All right, so let's get this done. Okay, so I refinished that part. All right, let's flip these all over and get the bottoms done. And then we're going to be done with the paint. It doesn't have to be a great job. Because these are the bottoms. What is that? I don't know. It was something that just went flying. Maybe a dried up glue ball. I don't know. What is that? I don't even know what that says. And there's going to be really no way probably to cut. Oh, I was going to say no way to cover it up. But sure there is. Just glob on the paint. There we go. And one last one. And we are painted. Hooray. Okay quick dry these bottoms just so they can there we go okay lid on so I don't dump it hi Nance how you feeling girl so he moved to Louisiana now he gets hurricane should have stayed in Kentucky all oh, Debbie Green you're right so he's here in Louisiana we don't know how to act the state pretty much shuts down I bet it does I bet it does 
I can only imagine. It has been a really, it's been actually, gosh, I want to say it was like our first winter when we moved into this house that we've had, a, that we had a really good snow. Oh, Mary, I'm so sorry. My Dollar Tree has some good stuff. is drying rather quick today. Okay. Yay! All right, so we are ready to rock and roll. I'm going to find my the sides I like the most. Oops. Hold on. Nice fingerprint right there, Jess. It's quick. Dry that. Don't need a fingerprint on it, you guys. Okay, we get that out of the way. We'll probably be doing some more distressing with that anyways. Ugh, that block is a little funky, no matter what. So I'll just probably go with this side. Okay, now we need some wax because we painted and it is very uneven wood. So let's wax our fronts here with some surface wax that you can grab in my online store. Well, there are some spots that are still a little wet on the side of these. That's okay. Oh, this side, yeah, definitely need to wax that. Glad to hear you're good, Nance. A weird year all the way around. Heck yes. Hi, Gab. All right. Let's get the transfer out now. Let's grab my transfer trimmers that are actually four transfers. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open this. This is the Ornate Noel. It is a size C. It's in my online store. It's $24.99. And it is going to be so cute. Now... We want to go ahead and we are going to cut along all of the lines with our transfer trimmers. One. Two. Three. Now you're going to know that... We are likely going to use placement tape as well because we have registration marks because this is a layering transfer. You're also going to notice they are numbered. So we're going to put this one down first. See how there's a number one? This one down second. And then we're going to do number three and number four. Okay? So let's get these in order and we're going to label them in that way as well. Oh, get over here. My marker just fell underneath, of course. Get out of here. Seriously? Hold on, you guys. My marker decided to fall underneath my little tray here. I'm sure if I move it, I'm going to knock everything down. Okay. Oh, God, I'm knocking into my cubbies. So this is Noel 1, Noel 2, and O3, E, L, 4. Okay, so we've got everything labeled. That's the first thing we want to do because our transfers are reusable over and over and over again. Okay. So now what I want to do is grab my fuzzing towel. We're going to give a quick fuzz to the transfer. And 
I know the N O E, so the L is going to go last. Okay. So, oh goodness, hopefully these are big enough. That, guess what, you guys? We may not be able to layer. I didn't realize how big they were. We'll 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 attempt it though. We'll attempt it. And I think I'm going to be able to figure out by doing this. The only thing it's going to miss is probably the shadow layer, but I think we'll be okay. Um, what I would suggest we do is get a piece of transfer tape. Hi, Margaret Miller. How you been, girl? Um, and we're going to put it underneath where the registration mark is. Because we're doing this on wood, we don't want to... Nope, that went over a little too far. There it goes. We don't want to put the chalk on that. So I think I want to do these letters in red with the pretty dots in shimmer gold and the shadow in green. I think that's what I want to do. Yep, it sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan to me. So let's get our squeegees going. Make sure there's no bumps in my silk screen area. Cover up that registration mark. that excess off. We're going to take our time and gently peel it back so we don't take that paint off. <gasps> oh, that's beautiful. Uh -uh. It's a little stuck, so I'm just going to take a little bit extra time. Wow, that is beautiful. Not even going to lie about it. Okay, so now I got to just be a little careful here how I put this down. And fun fact, I will not be able to put the registration mark on this one, so I'm just going to have to kind of sort of guesstimate at it. And that's okay. We'll make it work, right? Try not to let it lay down in case there was any. There we go. N O. Really? That would happen. Please don't let me get it. Ah! Oh, hold on, it's stuck to my coffee mug. Okay, N O. Let's get. Oh, let's push that out of the way. I just see bad things. <laughs> Same thing here. I'm not going to be able to put the registration mark, registration marks on, and that's okay. Like I said, we will make do. I just want to make sure I don't have any bumps in this, because the red is not forgiving when you have a bump in something. You definitely see all parts of the bleed, for sure. And I definitely see a bump there. Hopefully, I will have waxed enough if we do have a bleed. Oh, I see a bump. Okay. Oh, God, these are so pretty. You guys, they look so good. So, so good. a little bit more. Is that like way crooked? 
no, this looks slightly crooked. That's not horrible. That's fine, actually. Now let's make sure there is no bumps here. I'm a little worried. I see some. Okay. Hopefully we'll make it work. that okay so we've got this first layer down let's look at the comments just get this on the carrier sheet so I can take it back into my thing. Hi, Marlene. I love the red and white too. Just wait till you see it with the gold now because we're going to do that as the, as the, wait, oh no, we won't be doing the gold. We'll be doing the, the, uh, meadow. The meadow part will be next. So birdie. Okay. Get out of the way. N O E. -O. Okay. So let's get this part going. Oh, awesome, Linda. That's great. Great minds, right? Oh, wow, that was quick. Okay, um, hmm, I'm actually rethinking this now. Do we want the ornate looking part to be the gold? Ooh, what do I think? What do I think? What do I think? Let's see. Hmm, you guys, I'm having a, a minor debate. A minor disturbance in my brain. Do we want to do this part in the shimmer gold or the the pesto? I mean the meadow. What do we think for this layer? I feel like because there's the ornate pieces, that should be the gold. It is candy apple. Yes, Mary. Do you guys agree that the shimmer gold should go here? Let me know. I'm going to have a sip of coffee real quick. Meadow. Carol says meadow. Linda says gold. Roxanne says gold. I'm feeling like it should be gold as well. I think, I feel like it should. So let's go gold. Because it's all the ornate, Debbie Green says gold. Yeah, it's all the ornate pieces that are here. So I feel like that should be the shimmer gold. Just a, just a gut feeling I've got going right now. So let's see. And I could be wrong. And, you know, it's going to be okay. Right? Okay. 
Boy, that took it right to the bottom. That was luck. See how this looks. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is stunning. You guys, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mary Egger said gold. Yes, guys. I think we did the right choice. I think we made the right decision. Oh. I'm a little bummed that we didn't have enough room to fit all of the O, but I'm going to wrap it along the side. I don't care. No, can't talk right now. We're crafting. Okay, let's take our time and peel it back. I don't want to take any of the candy apple off, which I did just a little bit, but guess what? I don't even care because it looks so good. Wait, are we frozen? How did that happen? Hold on, something happened on my phone. Did it die? Oh God, did the phone die? Why is it doing that? Why did it do that? That's so weird. I haven't, it must have been someone with a cell phone calling because it went on my Wi Fi. Look at the O. Ooh. Ooh, it looks so pretty. Okay, let's do the E. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay. Now, uh oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is going to be so pretty. Oh, I love it. And even that little splash up there. This was the block that was a little rough. So it's going to take a little extra pushing to get through to that way at the bottom area because it is really uneven this block so some of it may sh not show up and that's okay we'll just make it look nice and distressed right Oh my goodness, you guys, will you check this out? It's so beautiful. <gasps> Gosh, I love it. Love it. Can't say enough about it. This transfer might very quickly become one of my favorites. Just saying. Oh, this is beautiful. See, I'm all about the shimmers, you guys. The shimmer paste all day, every day. The shimmer, um, or, uh, glitter? No. Nope. And you know what? I'm even thinking now I should have done probably shimmer crimson. I'm glad I did the candy apple. It looks beautiful, but here's what I'm thinking now. I think it should be Shimmer Shadow instead of the... Um, Cheryl, this is the Ornate Noel. It is available... Oh, there goes my phone. On my website. Um, wow, this is, this is turning out beautiful, you guys. I think I should do Shimmer Shadow. Do you guys agree? Shimmer Shadow or the Meadow? What do we think? Let me know down below for the next part, the, the final part of this. 
I'm thinking for sure the Shimmer Shadow. You let me know though. Tell me down below. Love the Shimmer Shadow. I agree. I think Shimmer Shadow should do it. Let me grab it out. Of course, I've moved every color around so much recently. I'm not going to be able to find Shimmer Shadow. Nope, that's not it. Hold on, you guys. Trying to find Shimmer Shadow. Don't be a star. Shimmer Shadow. There it is. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you guys agree. Glad you guys agree with me. I think the shad Shimmer Shadow is just going to be like, yeah. You like them as is? Ooh, okay. You don't think I should do the next part of it? I think it could be so pretty. Oh, I don't know. I kind of feel like I, I really want to do it. Whoa. Come on. Why? Are we still going off? Remember, the uh, shimmers take a little bit longer to dry, you guys. Roxanne says shimmer shadow. I think they're good. I will allow them their time to dry as long as my O and my E are dry that's all that matters and they are dry I mean my N and my O let's see we'll test well it's kind of a do or die thing so we're gonna go with it because it's of all colors it is the shimmer shadow or do I do frost now I'm doubting no stop just go with it go with it I kind of feel like it's going to be gorgeous. I really do. Hey, Marlene, thank you for sprinkling. Let me get your name down. Hi, Colleen. Thank you, Marlene. Oh, there it goes. Debbie Green B. Ooh. Shadow would pop. Kind of have to agree with that. Kind of have to agree. All right, let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a whirl. Kind of sort of think it's going to look awesome. Let's see. Okay, here it comes. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm not going to look. I'll close my eyes. Uh-oh, what am I stuck on? I got to look. <gasps> oh, darn it. It peeled up a little bit of my red, but yeah, for the Shimmer Shadow. Kind of, sort of love it. 
Wow, I probably should have waxed that layer, but uh, yeah, Shimmer Shadow for the win. It reminds me of the Nutcracker. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right, I won't push as hard this time. How's that sound? Oh, yeah. The Shimmer Shadow, where it is at, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Look how pretty that looks. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Dion. Doesn't it look so pretty, you guys? Other than where it pulled up a little bit, but... Here's what I will tell you. Pop a little wax down and it's going to be fine or fuzz even better than what I did. Did I even fuzz? I don't even remember fuzzing. That could also be the issue. I don't remember fuzzing at all. Well, that'll do it. That would do it. Let's just fuzz real good. Or, like I said, you could just wax in between the layers. Not a big deal. I still think they look awesome, and I think it would be, it makes it look a little uh, vintage-y, right? Are we dry? Yeah, we're dry. Okay. Push down super light. I fuzzed. And I was worried I wouldn't have enough room to do all the layers. Ha, 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 ha. Silly girl. You had the room. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. Just fuzz more, you guys. That was it. Oh, my gosh, it looks so good. So, so good. went over a little too far on the other one. Oh, I think I may have pulled a little too much paste on, but that's okay. We can just take it right off. This came out so much prettier than what I had even imagined. So much prettier. Wow. Let's try this now. Oh my gosh, I just messed it up. I like the little distressing too, Debbie. I think it looks so cute. Wow, look at these. Just stunning. I need to distress up this E a little bit because I did it on all the other ones. That way it looks like it was meant to be. You guys, this transfer is available. Don't miss out on them. Thank you, Darlene. I appreciate that. All right, let's 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 do a little distressing on the E because, you know, we got to uh, gotta make it look like it was meant to be. We'll do it, um, we'll do it on the side up here. Oh, it smears it. We'll 
go like this. Here we go. Make it look like it was meant to be. There we go. Just a little bit. We didn't need a lot. What do you guys think? Hi, Heidi Dylan. How you doing, girlfriend? You guys love them? I think they turned out so pretty. I was considering adding bows. I'm not doing that because I think they look perfect just the way they are. Look at this. Look at that shimmer. Look at that. You see that N? The O. Look at it. Oh. N O E. Oh my gosh. Look at that sparkle, you guys. Oh my goodness. So if you would like to get your hands on these little cuties, you can go right to my online store and snag them. Um, uh, this transfer, rather, the they, it is called um, Ornate Noel. It's a size C. They are there. Oh, Heidi, you always make me feel so good. Um, thank you, Sean Marie. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Debbie. Where did I get the blocks? Lori, they were just rando pieces left over after my, um, contractor was done. They measure three by four. They're literally just the regular old, like, wood blocks. I don't know what they're called. One by fours, two by fours. I don't really know. Um, that's all they are. And they measure three by four. So there is that. Um, thank you, Dion. Yeah, Sean Marie, you need some black shimmer for sure. But it's, uh, it was using the Ornate Noel. Um, yeah, it's here. You know what? Let me go back down really quickly so that way you can see how it looks all together. Or Lori, I'm so sorry. Lori, I meant. There you go. How pretty is that? I love them. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. So, so cute. I need to make more of these. Um, so that's it. That's what I got for you guys today. I hope you have... Uh, I hope you enjoyed my project. I hope you have an awesome day. I am going to go and make some more pretty things and have some, uh, hopefully some upcoming videos for you guys. Um, like I said, it's a rainy day and, um, I'm going to craft. So I hope you guys have an awesome afternoon and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys. <laughs>